Welcome to Open Atrium. I'm Will from Development Seed, and in this video I'll introduce several group features. These tabs represent the features available in this group. What you see may vary based on what features the group manager has enabled. This is an example group all about apples, and I'm logged in as John Smith, one of the group's members. We're currently on the dashboard page. By default, this page shows the latest activity on the site, but can be customized by the group administrator. Let's start by looking at the blog feature. The blog is a place for conversations. It supports commenting, file attachments, and notifications. You can see that Jane has posted about the upcoming Apple Expo, and that John has posted about the Orchard. Let's comment on one of these posts. I can type my message below the post. and select users to receive notifications. I want Jane to know that I responded to her post, so I'll check her name here. She'll receive an email about the comment. Notifications aren't just limited to the blog. I can choose to send notifications for almost any type of post I make to an open atrium site. And my comments posted. Let's move on to the notebook. The notebook is a place to collaborate on documents. Notebooks can be organized in a hierarchy. Here I have two books. I can expand a book to see its subpages. I want to add a page about the fox whelp, a traditional cider apple. So I can click on the cider apples page and then click on add child page. and I'm just going to copy some text from Wikipedia. Again, I have the ability to notify users about this posting. So here's our notebook page. But let's say I want to change something. I want to remove a paragraph about the fox whelp's history and add a paragraph about its characteristics. I'll save the post. Once I update the page, any group member will be able to click on Highlight Changes to see exactly what changed. Next up is the Case Tracker which allows group to-do items to be tracked and assigned. There are two cases on the site right now, one for buying plane tickets to the Apple Expo and one for orchard construction. If I click on the plane ticket case, I can see that it's assigned to John Smith and its priority is high. Let's say I just bought the tickets. I can mark this item as closed and type a note and I'll notify Jane so she knows that the purchase was made. The case is now closed, and if I go back to the case tracker, it no longer appears on the main list. The shout box is a microblogging feature intended for short ideas and links that you want to share with your team. Clicking on the tab brings up a box that I can use to post a message without leaving the current page. The calendar feature allows your group to keep track of meetings, milestones, and events. There's already one event on the calendar. Let's add the expo as well. Click on Add Event. And we'll add the date.
The event now appears on the calendar. Those are the basics of working with group features. Enjoy using OpenAtrium.